13. Would you like to enter Prime Empire? Now that I made it all the way to level 13 of Prime Empire, I feel like I have a really good feel of what this Prime Empire world is. And today, we're gonna build Paratechnica, which is a massive city inside the Prime Empire video game. This is an amazing city where the Speedway 5 billion is held. It's got a bunch of video game shops, and a lot of neon bright colors. Let's get to work on the minifigures because we have a lot to build. The first minifigure we're gonna build here is Digi J. We got the classic J minifigure from this wave. We also made Digi Nia, Digi Lloyd, Digi Kai, Digi Cole. Gave them their life bar and these ninja were complete. Sadly, no Zane. Next up we have the League of J. The League of J is basically a league of J. We've got the original J, Tournament of Elements J, Season 11 J. And to finish it all off, we need the leader, J himself, in his avatar. Avatar form J is one of the quirkiest Ninjago minifigures I've ever seen. And by his side, we have Avatar Kai. I also made a couple other gamer pedestrians to roam the streets of Terra Technica. Then I added the man, the myth, the legend, Scott, with his awesome hat hood combo. And by his side, we've got Racer. Seven, which I updated for my old versions of Racer 7. We also need some threatening characters, so I'm going to put one Red Visor and Black Rat. And finally, Ninjago Baymax. These little robots are hovering around Paratechnica, helping people, giving them assistance. Now that we have all of our minifigures built, it's time to move on to Paratechnica. The first thing I'm gonna build is two transparent orange cubes. So in Prime Empire, when you die, you get cube. Now we need one of those drones that flies by and can suck the energy cubes up. This Prime Empire drone is pretty straightforward. I added some stud shooters, gave them a big red eye, and a couple wings coming out the side. All in all, I think this drone looks pretty accurate to the show. I knew I wanted a big Speedway 5 billion starting line, but there's one problem. I needed a Speedway 5 billion sign. So I vigorously worked on stickers for approximately three hours. I ordered them, and once they came in the mail, I started cutting them out. I got glue stick, glued them onto pieces. Our first sticker here is, of course, a giant Speedway 5 billion sign. Next up, I made a League of J sign. I also designed three sushi stickers that'll go for the sushi shop. A sticker that has three hearts on it. I also made four different round stickers, and when you put them together, it spells out game in ninjargon. And finally, I made a sticker that says dance. So now we have all the stickers, it's time to get working on this Prime Empire mock. The city right now is not how I envisioned it, so sadly I'm going to have to. Let's get into it for a second time. First off, I made a big road coming out in the middle of it. Underneath the starting track, I made a blue and light blue wow. checker pattern to give a nice starting line for the racetrack. I used a fun technique while I was building the two pillars going up and put a bar in between these window frames. I was able to make a function using a lot of gears and you can turn the green katana on the top and the lights switch from red to green instantly. And now we can put the Speedway 5 billion sign on. I also stole some pixie wands and stuck those on the top to look like fireworks. I also set around four different chairs, but we don't have any cars to race on the speedway, so I added Lloyd's Legacy Jungle Car, put Racer 7 in it, now Racer 7 go on her race. <gasps> and on the left section, I started with the sushi shop and made it black and a new neon yellow color. Made a sign on the top with those three sushi stickers and a little counter area using these curved pieces. I also made a spinning sushi table, just don't eat that one. <laughs> I also added the get life sign on the side of the shop, and now it's time to work on the dance floor. This building is going to be dark gray and purple. I made two transfer sparkly purple pillars. I also added a glass door in the middle. Around on the inside, I added two blue gears so that you can place two minifigures on and have them start dancing. I added a disco ball using this Mysterio head. Then I was able to make the sign on the front, which I outlined with light gray bricks. The next floor was gonna be the costume shop. For this item market, I put a big glass window in the front. I put down a turntable, placed Jay and Kai's avatar on it, worked in a little function with a rubber band, and added a sign on the top that's orange on one side and white with a guitar on the other side. Now you can display either Kai or Jay. Around back, I added a pink, light gray, and purple ninja mask. Now that the left side is done, it's time to move on to the right side. The first small building I built, I used squirrel pink pieces I got from a random video set. 
I also made a little question mark sign on the top. Placed something absolutely amazing inside of it. Then added the Ninjargon game sign. Moving over, I made a little building for Scott. I incorporated a door that can flip up by turning a knob on the side, put some hazard signs on it, and yes, right outside of Scott's secret building, there's a wanted sign for Scott. Bruh. Inside, I added a bunch of tools and different things you'd find in a car repair shop. Now it's time for the star of this show. We're gonna make the tallest tower here because I feel like the League of J deserves its own tower. So the colors we're using here are black and medium turquoise. Using five clip segments, I made three pentagons that I put on one side of the building. On the front of the building, I added a bunch of blue windows. For a couple of them, I added yellow lightning into the middle of the window. Windows. I built up with a lot of black bricks and on the very top I had a little symbol for J. Inside I tiled the floors off with blue. For the first level we have a magazine rack and a table with a video game controller. On the second level we have one of Jay's masks and a bunch of his classic weapons. Finally on the top I used an arrow blade piece and was able to construct a super complex Prime Empire sign that looks very accurate. Here it is against a big sticker and you can turn this sign around and it says game over. I also made a really cool lightning-esque League of J sign that I clicked on the side of the building. Now I can place all the minifigures in here and we have Terra Technica. It's really cool how you can fold it up, give you the streetway view or you can unfold it so you can see more of the facade of the buildings. And before we do the awesome trailer in my display, if you guys want to buy the instructions for this Terra Technica mock, you can go to the link in the description or to brick-legends.com. And it's 50% off from now until this day right here. So go get it while you can. Well, now that we're done with that huge Prime Empire mock, I think it's time that I go back and play my video game. Welcome to Prime Empire.